Hello everyone, welcome back to the podcast. It's episode 11 of the podcast, and it's definitely been a while since I made an episode on the podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, you notice that the um, actual screen looks a little different. So the border of the uh, orange border around my name, or my, my, my face, is a different like orange from the last video. And the reason why that is is because I actually accidentally, long ago, I deleted the uh, original border for this um uh, podcast, and I did it by accident, and I couldn't find the image on Google, or maybe I could have if I, like, saw the image of where it would look like, and I find that, but this one actually definitely looks a lot, looks a lot better, looks more clean, looks more orangey, and looks better, just so I keep it like this for now, I might, you know, I could, I could change it anytime I want, but for right now, it looks really good, but everything else is pretty much the same, and I'm all the names, all my socials on the side, so you want to follow my Snapchat, oh, sorry, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitch, it's all here, and yeah, it's episode 11 of the podcast. So where have I been in a while? I also have posted a video in over probably a little more, a little less than a month, I think. I posted my ranking uh, video for Five to Freddy's jump scares, and it did decently well, I guess. I don't, it, I, it, it's still, it's not as good as the other videos I did, like ranking every FNAF game based on difficulty and ranking every a game from worst to best. But I still did really well in, in uh, views wise and all that stuff, so I'll still take it as a good video. Um, and that was three weeks ago. I haven't, I haven't posted a video since. The reason why that is, it's because I have gone to college. So when I posted that video, we'll see what the date it was here. Let me check it out. It was on August 20th. So on August 20th, after six days later, I finally went to school. So I had a whole week, I kind of made another video. But I was doing other things that were like to get ready for college. One of these things was also going to orientation for my college. It was days before, like three days before the event. So August twenty third was my orientation day, where I had to go in and then we go through like, an, like like seven hours or, or less than that of just like going through class and like see, see, see how things are in campus and all that stuff. You know, I've I've been there like twenty times before I went to. Uh, actual a, a day of learning or classes so i didn't need to really see days on campus it's for people who actually like who are dormant at, at campus it was a three-day uh, orientation day which i only went to one of them because again i'm not living there if i was living there then i can go there because i don't else better to do that day but i have i'm like i'm like not, i'm not busy or anything i, I still want to do it because like why who cares? Like the first thing was more important because like I got some get some paperwork and I was get my ID, which is really important. I need my ID to get to, I need my ID to get into a lot of classes. So like, for example, my first ever class I have it in a in a in a place where you need your ID to get into the building. So that's really important. If I didn't have that, I would have been so so screwed for that class because I couldn't get into the building unless someone let me in. Which I don't know if that would have how how long that would have taken if I if I didn't have my ID. Anyways. So yeah, I, I so I started college three weeks ago. As you can see, I'm not I'm actually in my house right now. As you know, you know the the uh, setup in the background, just a little messy. You see some like things on my 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 bed, all that stuff, you know. Cause I don't I don't live here. It is, I was made that it is, I I, mean, I live here, but I don't like solely live in this house anymore like I used to. Um, for college, so what my the plan was that my grandma my grandma who lives in Upper Manhattan. She lives so close to my school. It's only like five or six blocks, or six stops on the train away from my college. So I'm thinking, or if you put perspective, that's like 33 blocks, um, um, New York blocks or Manhattan blocks, which is not that bad at all. I've done, I've walked that much before, but it's like you don't want to walk these. You want to take a train, of course. And so it's a lot better than going from Brooklyn all the way to the Bronx. It's better to go Manhattan to the Bronx. It's a lot closer, easier, and more efficient to do that instead of going from the Brooklyn. But I come here back. Come back here for weekends. Well, they came back this weekend, and also I'm also there like two weeks ago weekend. I didn't come back last weekend because I think to do. I'll explain that later on in the episode. But um, it, it's been really fun. So yeah, I went. I moved over to my grandma's house. Sunday night, I actually didn't start, uh, I started Sunday night because I wanted to say, like, stay home for a little more longer after orientation. I kind of definitely went back to uh, my grandma's house and stayed there and slept there, but I wanted to get my things ready. So what I needed for my from my house, I needed all my, I got to bring all my clothes, a lot of my clothes from uh, my uh, my house, bring it over to my grandma's house, my shoes, my pants, sock, whatever I need for that. I need some, like, I fixed my, my pillows off my bed. There, there, Some of them are gone. 
Uh, set some stuffed animals. The air gone. Uh, what else did I take up from here? I don't really remember what else. Um, we also I also had to, had to like thank God. So this was a, this was a good is that I needed a lot of like furniture and stuff for that. I mean, one's a bed. I got a bed was like one of the things we had to get because like bed obviously makes sense. My grandma thought I had a king size bed, but I don't want to steal it from her or sleep with her in my in the bed same bed. It's just like okay, we have our own privacy and stuff like that for four years. It'd be kind of kind of weird. I mean, it would be weird just that like why do that you know? So we uh so for so for like the last like in the last week. After I made that video, I uh, I bought a bed for Matt and Mattress Firm, and I went. We bought I mean, it was delivered over to my to my grandma's house, and I'm telling you, it's better than this bed right here. It's it's a full size. This is a twin. It's a full size bed. The, the the front moves up like this, so you can have like you can angle yourself up far farther if you want to watch a like, TV or whatever or sit up. It's it's a great bed. It's better than this bed. It's and then co comfort wise, it's like this one's, this one's pretty comfortable. I was, I was like really comfortable, more really comfortable. So it's like it's like different, but like it's like better. It gets it's larger and also it does that. It also leans up as well. It's so it's a great bed. I get that. Then I have to. I had to like I didn't have to get a desk. I need a desk and a night table. But good thing is my grandma had a roommate who actually fun fact like literally just left. Um, the last like, the last week I was I was there of of school. She left and left like. A lot of good loot. I, I, I literally, we literally just looted her up with all of the things she left behind. She said, anything left behind, it's all yours. Take whatever you want. I don't want it. So she left a desk. She left a freaking, a, a, a desk and a chair, a table, a toaster oven, fucking a Stanley cup, and a lot of other stuff that were, are useful for me that I could live there for four years because it's like she also lived there for six years, so... I could I, I could use the stuff that she you see like a floor fan that I can use when it gets hot you know I'm an AC but like when I, when like it's like too cold for an AC but too too still too kind of warm to like sleep so I, I got a fan to use for a little while and so yeah now that so now this is say this is say this is my room okay I can't hard to explain this is like my this is say, actually no say this this is the room I'm living in right my grandma's house this is by the way I'm in her living room I'm gonna say that real fast. I like my 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 bedroom is like her living room. I just like we try to change it into her room, cause she lives in an apartment, so it's not like a living room. Like like you like you walk in, it's like a whole small room. Her living room is a huge room, and it's like it's like um you have two couches here, and then you have the bed. Say say this is like say what my bed is is a, is a couch. Say what all this is. This is where my bed is. Like where where I'm standing standing behind me is where my bed is kind of laying. Where my desk is right now is kind of where my desk is. Uh, like fixtured over at my grandma's house. We had like a, um, desk here, window, bed, and then couch, and then another couch that's like lined up here this way. So there's a couch, couch, and then a table, and then a TV. It's like, see, this is my desk right here. The TV's like, here I'm hitting my uh closet door. That's where my the TV is. It's a, it's a big TV, nice size TV. The only thing the problem is with the TV is it doesn't have like any streaming services. So I'm only only stuck to watching cable, which I mean it's a good thing because I like I like watching cable sometimes, like baseball games. But then that cable is kind of kind of alright, you know. Um, I want to watch some like like, like uh, cartoons and stuff. But other than that, I don't even watch cable that much. I usually watch more streaming services or, or try to catch up on shows on streaming services. Like I want yeah, I'm using HBO Max a lot. So I thought it's been pretty good. Okay, I'm talking about my dorm, you know, my my my, my college dorm, quote unquote, aka my grandma's house. Grandma's been great, you know. She's ninety, pushing ninety one, and she's still kicking it. Like she's she doesn't like need a she don't need anything to walk. She doesn't need a cane. She doesn't need a, a roller. She she still cooks and cleans for me. Like after me, you know, like she like she and like I don't ask her to do this. She just does it by herself. She's she's still. A lot. She's gonna live for another decade. I'm telling you, she's gonna make push a hundred and still be doing these things that she's doing right now. She's still doing amazing. She's she's strong. She's she's still alive and kicking it really well. She's a, she's a home attendant, but pretty much the home attendant watches her do these things that are like you expect a, you don't expect a ninety year old person to do at all. So it's it's a, it's freaking amazing, honestly. Okay. I feel like if I stop for a little bit, cause my my my, my nose like, oh well, my, I feel congested a little bit for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just me, cause I'm talking a lot and I don't like usually do that over a long period of time. Unless I haven't done that in a while, I just usually like, talk, converse a little bit about that. But whatever, it doesn't matter. So, 
Let's talk about the first week of high school. Of college, sorry. High school is way past that. Four years done. Gone. For the first week of college. So, I started on a Monday, August 26th. And I had two classes that day. I had intro to engineering because I'm an engineering uh, major, civil engineering. And then I had microeconomics because I guess I had to, <coughs> I, guess I, had to, I had to take some economics class because it's like, I'm not sure if it's required, just like, Sometimes you need some some credits and guess my economics was the class I had to take. So I had at nine thirty, I had my first class at micro of of intro to engineering. It was a nine thirty to ten forty five class, which was just an introduction and we learned that like each that class is broken up to four modules of the four engineering, civil, mechanical, electrical, and chemical. Right now we're doing mechanical engineering. We just got like we did a kind of overview of what mechanical engineering is in an hour and fifteen minutes. Nothing much to say about the class. Kind of, it was just like an introduction class. But then I had a three-hour gap between that class and my next class. Three hours and 15 minutes to be exact of just a gap to do whatever I wanted. And back then, that first week, I was like, fuck, I don't know what to do because I don't know where to go, where to do. Like, I, I was like kind of just screwed, kind of just like, for what to do, get, me, get something to eat, whatever, just do something. So then I went, I, I, I walk around, find a place to sit down. I went to Chipotle because like I live near I, I'm on my campus, not my campus, but like I'm in the city. Like I'm, I'm in the Bronx. You can go to Broadway. You get anything you fucking want. Chipotle is an option. Pizza is an option. Uh, anything you want, McDonald's, Wendy's, halal. You want fucking Dunkin' Donuts. Anything you you feel like Chinese food. Anything you want, it's on Broadway. You can just walk a little bit and you'll find something you want like to eat. It's no problem at all. So yeah, that's been pretty cool. I got Chipotle that day, and then after that, after that, I went to the, after three hour gap. I went back to my classes. My favorite in economics. But the first day, I thought I wasn't gonna like the class. I, I remember when I took business and finance in high school. I thought I'd be like, I, I'm I don't want like the class. Cause I think it's boring, but I, I I'm gonna be good at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it. Cause I'm gonna be good at it, but I'm still be kind of bored. Bus teacher was like really whispery. So she was like, she was like, look, look, look like this the entire time in the class. And I, I, I was worried that that, that was, that was going to be like, I don't want to have a snooze fest. But so back in high in high school, classes were were, rain, were 41 minutes long. We had weird timing because 41 minutes long plus a, five, a four minute gap to get the classes of so 45 minutes per classes. Um, but it wasn't that bad. But now I have 50 minute classes and or an hour and fifteen minute classes, so it's 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 just a bit longer classes, but they're still like they don't feel long at all. Like I, I the hour and fifteen minute classes I only have two times per week, and they don't really they're not really that that bad. I, I mean I'll tell you about some of them later, but the the engineering engineering class is an hour and fifteen minute long. And I only have two times per week, and it's still not that bad. Hold up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow my nose real fast. <coughs> Fuck. I'm, I feel myself getting congested more. I talk every time. So it's like air comes in, throat closes up, and I'm like, eh. I'm not hoping I'm not getting sick, though. I don't want to get sick, you know? I feel you. I, I want to stay healthy as much as I can. Anyways, so after that cl- economics class, I was like, okay, bored, you know? Then I went back to grandma's, my grandma's house, and I just chilled for the remainder of time. I didn't have to do any work or homework because I was didn't have any work to be to give it out so i was like fuck it i'm free i just like chill out um i don't really i'm not i don't like go out like on like at, when, I get, when i get home i don't like go out afterward because like i don't someone asked me to go out because um i'm at my grandma's house and i i've been around that neighborhood like multiple multiple times so i, I don't i don't know the neighborhood and then like a new experience for me it's just the same stuff i've been through so why why go through that at all so i'm just gonna say fuck it on tuesday was uh, the first thing out of the first week that was my favorite day Tuesday because um I had my first phys- it was a, yeah I think first class yeah first class was math the calculus honors calculus I'm taking honors calculus one and I love calculus I love math so it was just a great class overall 15 minute class another the teacher's great I understand the material because I took the calculus both before so I had no problems it was just an overview of just like new stuff I, it was like easy algebra stuff so I, I didn't have a problem with that at all. After the 50 minutes was done, I fuck. I went to my physics class, which I'm telling you is going to be my worst class of the, of the semester. Just the fact that my teachers literally 
motherfucking Joe Biden, our teacher. He's just so inco- like so not there. It's a little senile. He's just really old and definitely he doesn't know some of his material, but he definitely should retire sooner or later because he gotta go, man. He needs something, something younger to like explain things better. Like I think I'm more on my own with this stuff, kind of stuff, and I'm worried about the tests, the tests that are coming up soon. But homeworks, he gets a homework every like week or so, and they aren't that bad, I guess. I did I did one this week. It was like okay, it was like, pretty easy, easier than last week, but. It's not a good class. It's like you can't. I don't understand what the fuck he's saying sometimes, and I just like, dick, uh, like I dick around in that class. I didn't make a few friends in that class though. The two, uh, there was, like two girls who sit next to me um, on, on my uh, right, who I talked to uh, before classes. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that class won't be as boring because I, I I made some friends in that class. So pretty cool. Um, then I had um, an hour, a forty-five minute gap another gap uh, time, and then I had my first English class. Now, English class, I'm not a big fan of, you know, I'm not a big fan of English, so I was like, okay, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I was worried about the class because, like, I don't know if, uh, how, if I do good or if, like, I make a friend. It's going to be, it's going to be, like, really annoying, but it's, again, 15-minute classes aren't that bad, plus, what we're doing in the class is, like, we're trying, we had to make our own book about ourselves, like a memoir or, like, a, or, 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 or I guess, like, a, I don't know. This is about, like, a, about ourselves, and we were actually publishing books with an ISBN number and all the stuff like that. So if you also want to buy my book sooner or later, you guys can. I, I, I should do that, actually. I should make these books, publish them, and you guys can buy them. Like, why why not, you know? I might, I might make a little ch- chicken and roos. Um, anyways. So, then... When, the after, after class, I saw on my Instagram, on the on the do the student engagement page, it was like a, it was like my school has this like engagement where you want to do events for the school, uh, with with the school you guys can, um, and today w- was like an activity or like a, um, yeah like, a, like an activity like you know like cornhole frisbee football like like, like games like that like sporting things like in the quad so if you want to hang out make some new friends and like play some games you guys could it was easy it was fun to do that. And actually, that's where I made a lot of my friends right now for the semester. Like that's where I got. That's where I met some of them that day. So when when I first got there, there's not a lot of people there. I did some cornhole to pass the time. Then I then I was like, okay, someone joined me. And I, I don't really know. It was a it was a sophomore kid, but then he left, went on to do his own thing. Then I was, I was like, football looks interesting, so I played. I threw on a football for a little bit. But again, people I I, I played football with were like. I really could have cared less about. There's some people playing cornhole again, and I wanted to do cornhole. It was I saw three people on one team and two people on the other team. And I said, "Fuck it, I'll join the, the team that has less people." Of course, so three v threes. That that made, made made most sense in my head, and that's what people I made friends with. I know every person's name, and I have almost every person. I think I think I have every social, like Instagram of every person I've, I have added. So it was like all five people I have I've added on Instagram or something like that, and I've chat. After like on afterwards in uh, classes or whatever. So like on my team though, I do it's funny funny enough. On my team, I I haven't like, really connected much like, since then. I I've seen them around, but people on the other team like uh there's like three, like two three other people I've like, made friends with and I've chat and like we had like we've like hung out in classes and like we have in, in a club too. So like, it's pretty cool all the stuff we we've done together so far. It's this it's not like three weeks, um. And that, was, that was a really fun day. Made new friends, got some got some uh, socials, and yeah, friends are, are awesome. I married my friends in college, and I like that. So cool. On Wednesday, what did I have? I had math first again. Then I had ma- a math lab, which is weird. I had calculus like two calculus classes. Like one's a log. Mm. Last thing, one's a lab. And like we had to do, this, we had to do this, like thing called Maple. The software I'm not gonna explain it because it's stupid, or not stupid, but it's like too confusing to to explain. Hold up! Oh my god, I have hiccups now all of a sudden. God, I can't like speak without like an interruption of my own fucking body bodily functions and shit. God damn. Whew. Anyways. Yes, yeah, so the Wednesday I had the mat, uh, mat, um, the Maple Lab, which I couldn't actually do on Wednesday because I didn't have a laptop at the time, and, and you only could do it on a laptop. And I was gonna get, get a laptop that week, but I wasn't able to, so I had to get that that that, went, uh, that weekend that after the week. So I couldn't do it. I had for, for I I was like fifty minutes. I was 
twiddling my thumbs, just sitting in the back of the class, just like doing nothing. So I had to figure some shit out to do so I could just like distract and all that stuff. But yeah, that was fun. After that, I had another hour gap, I believe, or hour and ten minute gap, and then I had microeconomics. No, was it microeconomics or was it? No, it was, it was. No, it was English first. Yeah, English first. I don't remember that class a lot, and then microeconomics uh, I had afterwards. And again, um, and also I, what I learned is that the, the the girl from on the other team who was playing, uh. Um, who plays cornhole was in my physics class. Which I talked to at that that same day, actually. By the way, I talked to her that same day. We had like a we had like a inter- we had like we had like a lesson that like it was the teacher could not pronounce. So we like we kind of like, like we like we were telling each other. We like we talk about talk about that. We had like we were like joking around and all that stuff. We were, we were becoming friends. And we had the cornhole, and then we had, I learned that she was in my economics class. And we just talked then too. So also the other, also the other uh, another guy from that class too from my the cornhole was also there too. So it was us three in that class. And we, we, we are we are like a little trio in the microeconomics class, which is pretty fun. So, I don't want to give name. I, I I like I wish, I wish I could give names, but I'm always worried that like somehow they might watch this video. And I, I don't talk about my YouTube channel at all in front of like anyone from college. But somehow they find this video and I drop name drops. I don't want to do that just in case of anything. So names are gonna be not said at all. Just gonna I, I can give descriptions of what they are. I go like like he or she or where they're from, whatever. But I'm not gonna give. Anything other than that, names are not gonna be like that. Like, like, like the girls from California, the guy, the guy from is from Yonkers. So that's all I'm gonna say. That's it. That's all that's gonna happen. Like we said. Um. After that, yeah. I, I, then I had uh. That was that was Wednesday. I don't think I remember anything else. Like I don't think I did anything afterwards on that day. Just I I, I want to see something real fast. It's like, uh, I think I'm not sure it was this English class or a uh, a pat a future English class that just something interesting. I'm, I'm trying to find my class because I, I gotta check my syllabus real fast so I, I remember the date because the dates are all marked up to know what what day it was but i'm gonna move on to thursday thursday i had first was was it no it was oh uh, yeah it was engineering again because i had it like my engine engin- so this is my take this is my campus so you have the main area camp with the the, 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 the quad and then the buildings around it, like some like main campus. Then here's like a another building that's like kind of, kind of like a little farther off, but not as like bad as farther off. And then you have like down like four blocks this way is like another building which is like we're more for engineering students. I had to go from the side building, like the like the off building from the, the campus to the, to like our opposite. I had to go from the engineering building from four blocks away to the to the uh off building from the campus in like fifteen minutes. And I thought it'd be hard, but wasn't that bad at all, um, but actually that that Thursday though, to be fair, I had to go from like a different building, so like off building, four blocks away. This there's another building here in in between. That's like a, that's like a that's like a uh, more like a center for like students who like want like chill out, have the fitness center there, the seating, food, stuff like that. In between, they had that, and we had we had to go there for my engineering class. We had to do like a presentation and like a something or another, but I don't really remember a lot about that class, so I really couldn't care less about that. And afterwards, I had I had that I had to do lab. I I had to do physics lab that same day. Physics lab, I thought would be like oh, I thought it would be really hard because if the class is two hours and forty five minutes long, which is like oh my fucking god, two hours and forty five minutes. But then I looked. Uh, then I did lab actually this week. My first lab this week, and it only took me two hours to do it. The lab, and I had forty five minutes just to chill out afterwards. And I had another fifteen minutes to get my class. So I had a whole hour just to just stick around and do whatever I wanted to my next class, which was economics because that's because the uh, I know the time how it works. So and economics is really fun because I, I then talked to my my two friends in that class. And we, we have like I usually, we usually we usually get there like thirty minutes early to the class too because we we're, we're, we I don't know it's just how our schedules work and we just we we just go to the class and we just chill for like thirty minutes and we just talk and have fun so yeah the class is fun you know the class the class itself is like uh, but the beforehand makes it makes it a lot better so that's fun then Friday Friday's like Tuesday where it's, it's same same schedule with math and uh, physics and then uh, forty five minute gap then turns to uh, English class. I like fit. Only reason I like physics because I have the two friends in that class. One of the old friends, uh, I was the girl, the girl from my, 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 my class. And the other girl is, 
She, she, she's from where I'm not, like, not from where I'm from, but like Brooklyn. She's from that area, so it's pretty cool that she's from there. I, I found someone from my, so my neighbor, well, not my neighborhood, but like my city. Plus, I have Adam's Instagram, and we help each other with with fit, the fitness homework because it's kind of hard, and we just got to compare answers and help help each other out, and we uh, talk talk a lot about that. So, pretty cool. Um, and then hold up, let me, I'm just asking real fast on my for English class. I remember, I gotta remember what day it was. Presentation of your interviews. So that was interviews on the class. That was that Thursday then. Okay, so that was Thursday. What Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that was that Friday. Was that Friday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, that's like it's this Friday. This Friday, uh, that, uh, the first Friday of the week. So I was talking about the English class, anyways. Uh, forty five minutes of after. We had to do interviews of people from our class. So we had to interview one person from the class, and I I interviewed the person next to me, uh, and he's actually a really cool dude. He's from Pakistan and he moved here four years ago for high, to Pennsylvania Lancaster for high school, and then goes to New York for college. Pretty cool. He likes New York City, so that's awesome. And we actually became really good friends after that since because we've hung out in the city before. We've hung out um, at FAO Schwartz and Rockefeller Center and 14th Street and all that stuff like that. I mean, we've gone to the fitness center together and went to the gym. We've hung out. Um, I've been to his dorm before. I've been to my grandma's house before. We've, we've walked around a bunch. We we, we, we became like, we're, we're like, I'm like the only, he's like the only friend in college right now that I've hung out outside of Manhattan College with. So that's pretty cool as well so i want more i want to find more people like that who can hang out outside of college so a lot of people are more just in college classes and stuff like that or or after class but usually it's really rare too so that's been pretty fun so that, that, that was my first week of college guys i made a few yeah, again made a few friends and it was awesome so yeah so by the way yeah, that that friday uh, same week i said made two friends of physics class i made the i made friends with the the Give my English class and the guy from and the girl from my uh, physics class the same day, the same Friday. So I'm just like racking up pe- people like, I can, I can be talk to, friends and all the stuff in the classes, and it'll be awesome. Thankfully, uh, most of them actually are civil engineers. So like when the when the classes are turned to turn to my major classes, I can see them more often. Hopefully, in some of my classes, now we can bond closer. So yeah, and then I went back home to Brooklyn. Could have made a video easily, but. I had to go get my laptop for school, and I had to do other, other things too, so I, I couldn't maybe really make a video that much. Plus, I was on my laptop a lot, but I did. I have been playing like other games like Fortnite and all that stuff because I I've got it on my laptop, so it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't played. I actually I haven't played the new season on this PC at all. I actually have a win on my laptop on ranked Fortnite. I'm on, on, on not on build build ranked Fortnite on my laptop. Before I got a win on this computer, so that's crazy. This season, I don't know how I did it, but it's a, it's it's a, it's a good laptop. So, but it, it, it works well. But like, it's a laptop. It's not it's not a, it's not a gaming laptop. It's a normal like a normal computer laptop. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, after that, went to another week of school. Actually, I had a three day week and that week because Labor Day will exist. So I I actually got off for Labor Day, but then I had a four day week. And it was same stuff. Can't think of anything interesting that like that that came out. Uh to me, I can't think of anything right now. So yeah, I just went through my classes. Did my I did my shit. Um, my physics homework was due after that Friday. That was uh, the big thing because physics homework is just nasty. Haven't had a test yet. And then this weekend, actually, so like this week, the last week, I should say. I went to see Wicked on Broadway. I had the poster right in front of me. I'm looking. I'm pointing right at it. You can't see it. So I, I if, in front of me, I have my Broadway wall of all the Broadway. I have posters of all the Broadway shows I've seen. So I have Hades Town, MJ, Moulin Rouge, Wicked, and Who's Tommy. It's behind my uh, Space Camp uniform, but I can, I know it's there. I put it behind my Space Camp uniform because it's one of the worst ones I've seen. So that one was bad. That one was kind of bad. And yeah, so I seen Hayes down twice, but I only have one poster. But I have two playbills. If I can turn my chair, you can. You, okay, you can see the playbill barely sticking out right there. You see one playbill sticking out. If I turn the other way, maybe you can see it. Try to see. Yeah, you, can, you can see the wicked. You can see it. Eh. How do I hide that point right here? Yeah, you can see it. 
right there. Boom. Got it. Pointed. Pointed successfully. Couldn't. Couldn't. Couldn't get it done, but I did. So that's that's cool. I went to Wicked. I because because so my sister has seen all I've seen except for except for Wicked and Phantom of the Opera, and now I've seen Foo Wicked, but can't see Phantom of the Opera because it's no longer on Broadway anymore. It may be on like off Broadway or somewhere on tour, but. Chance of me seeing it at any point on back on Broadway would be very slim because you know maybe maybe if I look it up right now maybe it would be uh, on something Phantom of the Opera uh maybe maybe it's like somewhere yeah it's a lot of like not in this country it's all in somewhere else like you have London Chengdu Shanghai Shenzhen Xiang Yokohama, Antwerp, Basel, Budapest, Helsinki, Lisbon, Madrid, Prague, Sofia, and Vienna. So, I probably butchered half those names, but who cares? So, yeah, obviously not in America. Obviously, they are in America. Like, obviously, these are not in America, but, like, maybe, like, maybe this place is all the places that I can find it in America. Family Opera is one of the ones I definitely want to see. I really wish I did see when I had I actually had an opportunity to do it, see it, but I, did, I didn't take the opportunity. I should have. And then I should have seen, also saw, um, I want to, I want to see Les Miserables. But Les Miserables is, let's see, I don't know, actually, when, when did Les Mis close on Broadway? Wow, it closed on Broadway 20 years ago. What the fuck? Really? 21, almost, 20, actually, 21 years ago. Wow. I feel like... Wow, I, I'm surprised. Uh, it's it, it's really popular then because like, I I don't think you always hear about Les Mis or Rob and all that stuff. You like, you always want to see it, you know. Um, because they, 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 should, they should definitely bring it back then because it's been 20 years, 21 years. Like they could definitely do it again, maybe, hopefully, who knows? Family Opera won't probably won't come back then for a while because uh it just closed like two years ago, so it won't probably come back from there. Like if it does come, if it does come back 20 years from now, so. Problem is the theater that that where uh, Family Opera was is right been taken over by some other stupid ass fucking uh, Broadway show, which is not like I don't know what it is, but it's not it's not close. It's not gonna be a fa- it's not Family Opera type shit. It's, it's gonna be it's some bullshit. It, if it if it was like Moulin Rouge or Hayes Town or Wicked, like one of those three, like if if that was taking over the Majestic Theater, which where Family Opera was, then it'd be fine. But it's like it's something like. No, it's like one of those shows that it's like that you know it's a come and go. You know, like like like, like who's Tommy? It's it's already off Broadway. Host Tommy's gone. You can't watch that anymore. It's it's ready. I watched it and it's ready gone. So no one give a fuck about it. Um, now we'll go back to college. So I went to Wicked. I was my I hung out with my, my my friend from England English class twice. Um, in that, in that week and I hung out with him on. Uh, that Friday night. And then after Wicked, I hung out with him in the in the city as well. So I was like busy that that day, on Sunday, and then I had schools this week. Which again, that school that school is not school's really not that boring, I guess. Yeah, I, I think I like I'm having fun with it, but I can't think of anything outstanding that's been happening. So oh, the club fair at something, and also oh, I have like other stuff. What the fuck? I I I had to open my fucking mind to other stories, bro. Okay, first let's start with the club fair. So, kind of, I looked at my shirt and I saw the cl- and I think about the club fair. So, I wanted me and my friend from English class. We wanted to do, enjoy some clubs and have fun, you know, see what the clubs they got. And so we actually managed. To, we actually just joined like a bunch of clubs. Half of them I definitely won't do. We I joined like a train club, a couple of frats. We did. I we joined. Um, I joined like a, a civil engineering club. We joined like an Arab club or a Muslim club. I think both of them we did. Uh, we actually we both joined a Christian club, a Bible club. Um, joined both like the ultimate Fish, frisbee club, the tennis club. I joined the esports club, a team. Like I joined some of the like, stupidest clubs, like I, 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 we were the weak wackiest clubs ever. So, like, like one of the clubs was for um, uh, sexual assault, uh, um. Survivors and they give out free condoms in a bag and I and I took one of the condom bags. I don't have it on me, but I it's at my, it's at my grandma's house. But I have a bag full of condoms. So hit me up if anyone needs a condom. And one of the club two one of the clubs that stuck out to me the most was so one it was, it was, it was, the, the the 
the, their science and make us laugh when a prize. And I love making people laugh. That's my thing. I want to make anybody laugh as best I can. So I came up with the best jokes I could to make them laugh. And I managed to do it. And I got I got papers and yeah, you get an email and all that stuff for information about the club. The club's called Scatterbomb, and it's an improv club. And I'm now doing improv because um, I went to the I went to the uh, the uh, tryouts twice. They had two tryout days. I went to both of them, and then I got callbacks. And I went to the callbacks, and yeah, and I that was just this week. I went to two tryouts and a call and a callback, and I had a lot of fun doing that. So hopefully I can keep going with that. I don't know how we'll do with the actual, actual shows, but. I love doing it, so I have really a lot of fun trying to be funny and come up with things on the spot. Like I, have, I have some things like I remember one time it was like, so we play this game called like the who, what, where game, where you had to like be like, so I so I say I say a who, someone else says a what, and I didn't say the where. So say so I made I made a joke like, oh yeah, my name's Hogan and you're Dawes, and someone person said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, and the person said, oh yeah, I'm Hogan, you're Dawes. I'm like, oh yeah, and I said, oh, I said, oh yeah, we're in jail, you know. Something funny, you know, that's funny. I guess, I don't know. Stuff, stuff like that. Improv is fun. They have a lot of fun activities where they stand in a circle and you just like, um, say your name, but you just like, you give like an act- activity for your name. So like, my name's Nick. So I, I say like, oh, first of all, first of all, I, I went to two tries. So I, went, I did two different adjectives. So first of all, you also give, it, you also give expression to that, to that adjective. So I went, first of all, it was like, daughter called Nick. Pretty cool. Then I did naughty Nick. No. Words I could think of. Off top of the dome that has stars on the end, kind of hard because I was thinking of like gnarly, but it's GN, and then like and I love the words with the KN, like kneeling or whatever. Or, I don't know, nice Nick didn't sound right, so I could think of it. I, I could like a expression for that nice Nick, like nice Nick, nice. I don't know. It it was like not as interesting as I thought, but yeah, but naughty Nick and non Uncle Nick were awesome. So that's that's the best I got. I got I got thought of. It was a fun club. I also went to on Wednesday. Actually, I, I my, my Monday was it with the tryout or the tryout days. The Thursday was a callback of this week. Wednesday, I went to also a math club for thirty minutes because they had like games and free pizza. So I can't pass that up. And it's one of the clubs I, I signed up for that on uh, club fair day too because I love math. And that club I definitely will do too um, among scatter bomb as well because that's also really fun and I love math. So definitely gonna do that as well when I have have the time. To do that, plus it's on good days. Mondays and Wednesdays are great days because I have class because a lot of the little clubs start at like four to four thirty, and I got a class at two fifty, so I only had to wait an hour. While some days I had to like get out at like um like one fifty, so I got out to like closer to two o'clock, and so um I had to wait like two and a half hours, which I can't do. I just can't do. I don't know. What to, I don't know what to do for two and a half hours. By the way, I'm looking at the camera right now. My my fucking nose looks so weird, bro. I don't know what the fuck that, that that's all about. My nose like, looks like kind of. I think I'm staring at my nose for so long, but my nose looks hella weird right now. I don't know. I mean, look, my nose looks like I don't know. It looks like an elk fucking nose. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's, that's, that's all about. Maybe I'm, I'm staring at my nose for too long. I'm I'm like getting like I'm getting like um delusional or something. I don't know what's going on. Alright. Uh, Anyways, other than that, college has been great. I haven't taken any tests yet, so that's when like shit gets real. But for right now, it's been awesome. I've there's a lot more events that we had. They have a Yankee game coming up soon, so I want to go to the Jets and or Giants game, which I will definitely go to the Jets game. Maybe not Giants, but Jets is definitely what something I want to do because I never played a football game before, and I definitely want to go to one. I also there's some like other events, like some more quad events coming up soon for family weekend. So. Definitely go to hit these things up and also have fun in college. Do good in classes as well. I've been doing I've been doing good so far in the homeworks and like and like paying attention and all that stuff. Nothing the classes like been outstandingly awful. So I'm having fun. If you're in college and you're watching this and you're not having a good time, I'm sorry for you, man. Like it, 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 you get through it. Again, you go drop out. You go always like leave, go to the college, come to my college. Like it's it's man college, but oh yeah, I'm gonna say one thing also. Uh, the, this shirt, by the way, I signed up for, it was like a women, Hispanic women club, or like, or like a, in engineer or something like that club, and I saw this shirt, like, laying oh, on the on the table, I was like, yo, yo, can I have this shirt? She was like, she said, fuck it, why not, you know, and it said, for my Latinas, because it's like a, pray for Puerto Rico, it's pray for Puerto Rico, it says on the back, has like the, has, um, Puerto Rican, uh, Puerto Rico on the back, and it says, 
we are Jaspers. We are Jaspers. We are one because we are we are schools like Jaspers. That's our our, our mascot. So yeah, um, that's Jaspers a person. So um, yeah. If you didn't know, I'm Puerto Rican. That that that, that should have been pretty obvious. I'm like I wear a Puerto Rican shirt, and I'm, I'm like I'm like not Puerto Rican or even Hispanic to begin with, but I am Hispanic and Puerto Rican. So yeah. Another thing is that so one day I think it was. Last week or the first week, I can't remember what day it was. They were selling water balloons at my school and also lemonade. So if lemonades are five bucks and water balloons were a dollar. And if you bought a water balloon, you get you get hit anybody you want with it. And it was fun. I think I bought like over like ten water balloons. Maybe we met less than that, probably like eight or whatever. A water balloon. I bought a lot of water balloons, and I was having a lot of fun. I was with my friend from English class, and we said, "Hey." We'll just throw one across the quad and see if he hits somebody. And I and I threw one, and I hit a girl clean in the back. Like, smack. I hit it. Like, she was staring at me. I was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, oh, shit, sorry, bro. And it was funny as fuck. And I'm not even joking. We were throwing one while we were having a fun time. Afterwards, like, I think days later... I get a text on Snapchat from this girl I actually added from Manhattan College. Like, I I don't, I don't add a lot of people from my college unless they add me back. Like, they add me, I add them back, I mean. Because uh, I'm, I'm on the community page on Snapchat. Um, She's like, yo. She's like, holy fuck. I'm like, what's up, what's up? She's like, you think a person hit me the water balloon? I'm like, I'm like, no. Oh, my God, funny, huh? She's like, you, 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 you dick, you fucker, you, you asshole. She's like, I forgot what she said, but she's like, she was upset. And like, I was, I la- I was laughing because, like, what are the odds of having her added, Um, having her added of all people in, in my my college and hitting her? Like, what are the odds of that? It's it's slim to none. So, yeah, I met an op in the first week. I was, I was pretty crazy. I think I think it was actually that Friday because I think it was the first week I got, I made an op so pretty cool and yeah she she snaps we have I have her on Snapchat and we snapped recently I think she yeah, she's I think during this, this fucking podcast she said she sent me something on Snap yeah it was like twenty three minutes ago and I've been going for forty two minutes so yep got to check that out I have a 21, 21 day streak with her so that's pretty that's pretty cool also also I somehow I had a roommate added too on Snapchat and then I was snapping. I, I, I added both to my private story, and she, she took up my private story, and then her roommate took her private story right in front of her, and then she snapped me on her roommate's phone, and I somehow I both of them added, and yeah, that's like, that's like, that's fucking crazy, dude. So I have two people who are my ops, and now I gotta, gotta definitely watch, watch my back every once in a while, because I'm gonna be... So screwed if I'm not careful, honestly. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. To say, I can't think of, oh yeah, that, 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 I think that's it. Um, if anything else come up in the future, if I can think, if I think of something like later on, I'll definitely make another episode of the podcast. You know, podcast episode can come more than once. Uh, can't think of anything else at the time. We talked for 43 minutes, so that's, that's, that's a good enough time to end off this episode today. Hope you guys enjoyed this podcast episode. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. If you watch on, on Spotify, rate five stars. And if you watch on YouTube, again, like and subscribe, if, like I said before. So, yep. Peace out, everyone. And always just stay lit.